Yeah, we're in good shape. We're uh, we had we had to give them a couple of days recovery, and uh, today we're back we're back at it out there. There's a real intensity to the work. There's competition for places. You saw that we've got a lot of players now back fit. Jobin Jones is is back in with us. He he's had he had to go back to uh, Trinidad to get his uh, final visa uh, application for his green card. So he's now uh, now now got his green card. So that's good. Uh, We've got real competition for places and we're coming to a period where we've got a lot of games where we'll need every single one of them. So uh, the, the the nice thing about this weekend, we've got two games against New England in the same stadium, Saturday and Sunday. So you'll see that probably every one of those players on that pitch will play in one of those games to make sure that they're ready for, <clears throat> which is going to be a real big, big, uh, big May for us. Uh, we, 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 we're gaining confidence. I think every game is another brick in the foundation. And... Uh, we now need to make sure that we just remain really humble, keep our feet on the ground, and, and keep improving every single game. Yeah, well, I think I think the uh, I think for the first time probably, uh, rather than the focus being on the opposition of of you know say for instance Seattle playing their B team or it was only FC Miami say for instance, uh, the, you know people are now starting to write about this team. They're starting probably to see some kind some form of identity and. Uh, and, and where we're taking the team, but we, we still think we've got a long way to go. We've still got massive improvements to take, but I think I think you can see with the spirit of the team at the end of the game and, and what we saw in the dressing room, there's a tremendous collective spirit amongst them. And uh, you know, spirit can take you a long way. And uh, coupled that with the with the improvements that every single day that they're making, uh, you're now starting to formulate and see a formulation of a new team. Well, when when we when we took the uh, decision to uh, Almost trade Christian McCoon to Charlotte to get the rights to sign DeAndre Yedlin. That that was a big decision. That's probably one of the hard decisions we had to make because we didn't want to lose Christian McCoon because we felt we felt uh, we felt he was part of our team. Uh, but we realised that bringing DeAndre in was was almost like bringing a DP in. I think he has that DP type quality. He's played in the big leagues. He's played he's played at the top level. He's at, he's at a brilliant age, and you know I, I give him the captaincy at the weekend because I felt. Or I feel as if he's growing into a real leader within the team. I know Gregor is the captain. Gregor's the captain, but uh, DeAndre is really, really the voice of the team at this moment in time in terms of the huddles that we have and the, the integration of everybody in there. He's 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 been outstanding. He's shown great experience, and uh, I think I think I'm really pleased that he's 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 with us. Like I say, I think when when I look at DPs in the league, he has that influence on us. And at the moment, we've got no DPs in our team, so. Uh, we uh, we're relying on on those experienced players, and I, I think you can add probably Lassiter and Motta to that. I think quietly, quietly every single game they're having a massive effect on the team without getting the headlines that Campana or or, or some of the other younger players are getting. Does he provide to the attack? Yeah, well, I, I, th yeah. I think it's just his, his speed to join the attack. He, he's he's almost like a. <clears throat> A right back come right winger in one. We've got two players in one. He can get he, he can get he can get up there as quick as anyone else in the league, and uh, he's a he's a tremendous outlook. I think if you look at the speed on that right hand side with Lassiter and Yedlin, there's probably no right sided team in the world that's got their type of speed, and, and that's probably a fact. So we've got genuine speed now on that right hand side. Uh, we can we can transition really quick. Uh, they're beginning to understand each other a lot better, Lassiter and, and Yedlin. I thought early in the season there was there was just uh, you know they weren't connecting as well as I thought, but now there's a there's a brilliant understanding, and uh, you know it's a real it's a real important weapon for us. Yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, I think from September he's not going to play a ball for us. He's going to go into the England game real rusty. <laughs> so uh, no, he, he, look, we, we've got we've got we've got players that want to play on the biggest stage. We've got players that want to go to a World Cup, and I feel as if I feel as if that's a tremendous carrot for for us and for them. You know, it helps us and it helps them. So uh, DeAndre, he, he's he's got a real big challenge. He's got a real big challenge to get in the starting eleven with the the the, the US team. You know, but I think he's he's more than capable. He's got the quality. He's got the experience, and uh, you know, I think he, I think he will become a starter for the U.S. team when, once the World Cup uh, is here. Jovin Jones. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I think what Jovin what Jovin will will give us once he's back fit, he'll give us. <laughs> we've got Jovin. We've got Kieran. We've got Noah. We've got Chris McVay. Chris McVay at the moment is he's playing outstandingly well in that position. It's just, you know he, he's give us a real solidity there. Uh, you know, but there, there will be a time when we will need a le natural left-footed player. There, we're going to manage Noah. We're going to manage Noah really well in terms of sort of like his minutes because we, we see him as a, has got a great future. 
but Jovin and Kieran, Kieran especially, is, is probably three or four weeks ahead of Jovin. Uh, we're going to need them down the road. We, we've got a lot of games coming up, and you know, speaking to a manager that I'm playing against at the weekend, he, he always, always. The advice he always gives me is that you know MLS teams start playing in June and July. That's when it starts kicking in, and, and we've got to be ready for that. Which means that we need everybody playing. So we hope that Jovin and Kieran will get minutes this weekend in either game. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I actually think that he's, he's got a chance, a slight chance. It, it's, it was, it was a real, real bad dead leg that he got. Uh, you know, with, with dead legs, they can, they can, they can go two or three weeks. I think go two or three days. You just, it's just how quickly the hematoma, the blood. Uh, you know, obviously, goes away. He's working really hard. He wants to be part of the team, and and literally, it's day for day to see how you know we've got him on the bike, we've got him in the pool. We're just trying to loosen loosen that blood in in uh, in his thigh, and uh, you know, I think knowing him, uh, he wants to be back as quickly as possible. Well, I think I think if you look at if you look at the the, the sort of like the data, we, we were taking so many shots from outside the box, but I think. I think you've only got like a 12% chance of scoring from outside the box and 88% and chance of scoring from inside the box. So we've started to get into the areas that are the key areas to score goals. And, uh, you know, it felt like in the first four games, Motta, Robert Taylor, Ariel were having like five, six shots a game from outside the box. And we, we, we were good on some and, and not so good on the others. We're now, we're now talked about taking the extra pass, being a little bit more controlled in that, in that final third. And I think you saw that. You saw that in the in the second goal at the weekend when 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 we took the extra pass from Ariel it was a brilliant pass inside, and then and then the, the pass the pass to the right from Campagna was even better. So uh, it's something that we've been working really hard on getting in the right getting in the right areas. Well, I think it'd be a, it, it, we're playing the probably the best team in the conference. Well, they were the best team in the conference. I still think they probably are. I look at you know their Buxer and Gill. I think they're f they're fantastic players, and you know they're having one of those moments when things just aren't going their way. But at home, I saw I watched them against Charlotte at home. They were they were they were really intense, and I expect them to be the same against us. I expect them to obviously have all their players back by the time that they play against us. They've signed a couple of players as well. Uh, so so you say that the next one is always the toughest, and this is this is going to be our biggest test. Can we can we go to New England and and be as resolute, but play even better than what we did in the home game? Well, I mean I mean our strength, one of our biggest strengths is our transition. Uh, you know, but I would like us to possess the ball better. I would like us to control the game better. I don't think we can, I don't think we can play, I don't think we can play away in stadiums like New England uh, and drop off as deep as we did against Atlanta. I thought I thought we really 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 deepened off too much so we've got to take the game to New England at some point we, we, we realize we're away from home away games in the MLS are tough and you, there's moments when you've got to grind but I think I think I want us to show a little bit more a little bit more uh, intensity in our press and be a little bit more aggressive big day tomorrow yeah I think everyone's excited I think you see the plans you see the plans for the stadium you see the, the way that the club's growing uh, we hope we hope that we get that final uh, vault uh, to build what will be will be one of the best stadiums in the MLS and uh, we're all excited for it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.